Hi there. Today we're discussing Splash's bi-directional integration with Salesforce SalesCloud. We're going to walk through a short demo that shows the integration's main functionality in action. The topics will include, number one, campaign creation. When I create a new event in Splash, that will trigger the creation and connection to a new campaign in Salesforce in my desired naming convention. Number two, the bi-directional integration. This will show the integration's ability to send real-time campaign member and campaign member status updates between Splash and Salesforce. Number three, leading contact management. Specifically, how registrations in Splash can create new leads in Salesforce and update existing ones. Let's dive in. I'll begin by creating a new event in Splash. You can see on the creation form, I'm asked to input some basic information about my event. The integration will use these fields to generate a new Salesforce campaign in a pre-configured format. One note, if my campaign has already been created, I can input the campaign ID and that'll automatically link the event and the campaign without having to create a new one. Next, I'll choose my theme and boom, my event is created. Now I'll open up my event settings and go to integrations. The presence of the campaign ID tells me the integration has successfully created a new Salesforce campaign. For good measure, I'll pop over to Salesforce, search for my campaign, and open it up. Notice how the campaign name matches the syntax I set up in the Splash integration, a combination of the event title, event date, event type, and city. The next step I'll demo is how a sales team would add campaign members. This will be the clients and prospects they'd like invited to the event. Let's go ahead and add a few leads with the campaign member status of added. It's a best practice to assign a neutral status like this so the event marketing team knows who needs an invite. I'll also add one lead with a status of attending, indicating that this customer has already committed to attending and won't need an invite. Nice. Now I'll head back to the splash event and pop into my guest list. When an event marketer hits the sync with Salesforce button, this will pull all of the campaign members and their statuses into the guest list. Voila. Next, let's take the step of sending out an invitation email. I'll head over to the email tab and choose my draft. Next, I'll select my no status list. This represents all the guests we just synced over from Salesforce. Finally, I'll hit send on my invitation. You'll now notice two changes that will occur more or less immediately. Within my Splash guest list, all the recipients of my email will have a new status of a waiting reply. Just as importantly, each customer's campaign member status is also updated to invited, indicating to my sales team that the invitation has been sent, but their guests haven't yet responded. Now, let's go through a couple of registration scenarios so we could further test campaign member status updates and the creation of new leads. My integration is configured to create new leads when Salesforce doesn't recognize a registrant's email address. So let's start by submitting an RSVP as an existing campaign member, using their email address as the unique identifier. When we go back to the campaign, we can see the guest's campaign member status immediately updated to RSVP yes. Because this was an existing lead in Salesforce, a duplicate lead was not created. Next, let's submit an RSVP with a guest who is not currently a campaign member. You could see upon registration, two things happen. First, the guest is added to the campaign with a campaign member status of RSVP yes. Second, the guest is created as a new lead replete with his company and job title information. Okay, an important bonus step. On the day of the event, I use the Splash Host app to check in my guests. Just as with any other attendee action, the campaign member status is immediately updated to checked in. Because I know who is in the room, I can now be more strategic in my follow-ups and begin to measure long-term return on investment.